to rim or not to rim? That is the question. A famous author by the name of Jonathan Frakes once said that. Is it just me or is Jonathan Frakes looking a lot more like Orson Welles these days? I just saw the video, Jeff just showed me this, this video of Player Unknown Battleground Mysteries or something with Jonathan Frakes doing his mystery thing. And uh, the, the meme, it's true, was a couple years ago, but I still think, you know, getting Jonathan Frakes for anything, I'm all for it. But he's looking more and more like Orson fucking Wells. So for those who don't know who that is, um, it's this guy on the title screen of RimWorld. So welcome. I hope everyone's doing okay. I'm going to do some RimWorld. And it's been a little while. As always, it's been about a week. But I am excited to jump back into it. And I'm hoping that I don't completely fuck this up. I'm going to try to recruit my, um, my people early when there be a problem. Okay, that's, that's first. Second, I want to say rest in peace, Skutu. That's a really, uh, sad occurrence. Didn't someone get stolen? Who, who got stolen? Oh, for those out there in video land, I'd like to let you know I do have a little, uh, team of, of, uh, a couple people. Some of my friends and mods. As usual, chilling out, helping me out. So, one thing I've learned is that the smoke leaf production, apparently there's a lamp that's extremely good for growing anything, not just, um, you know, the stuff. So I'm looking around, is it the sun column? Hmm. Maybe I have to... Maybe I have to research that. So let's take a look. At, um... Um, well, Devil Strand is pretty good. We should, we should research that eventually. You know what, I'm gonna do that now. Because I like Devil Strand. And, uh, then, then we'll get... Let's see if we can get something. Industrial Smoke Leaf. Jesus. I don't see anything. Um... Oh, okay, so, so they just left duck egg unfertilized times 15. A new grow lamp. Let's do the new grow lamp. Then we'll do Devil Strand. And then we'll do marine armor. I'm in no rush for marine ar uh, armor because that is going to take an abundance, a glut of materials anyway. And... I'm not entirely looking forward to that. We're going to enable this body. So, let's see. Let's see if I can figure out what the hell's going on here. Got an arctic fox dead. Okay. Uh, what quests do we have? Looks like the sun column will both heat and light the room. No quests that are act active. Um, well, the thing is, we've got heaters. They're, they're 18 watts. So this is, um... Let's see. 330 watts. Right? This is 200... Uh, 2,900 watts. This is fine for now. It does serve a purpose. I wonder if it makes them grow faster, though. Because that's what I heard there was. I heard there was something that allows your, uh... Your plant to grow faster. Your plantage. Hmm. 
Hmm. So we got meat over here. Muffo, muffin by the pool, wharf. Okay. Everything seems to be okay here. I forgot we had all these factories. Just like... Fucking ready to go. One thing we don't have, though, is steel. I mean, we do. We have a lot of steel, but not enough to make components at... I thought those were two dildos. I was like, what, what are people doing with, like, dildular butt plugs in my base? Like, when did... Which, um... Which guests at the hotel left the dildos? Oh god, could you imagine? What if you have to... Like... What if you have to use EMP shells to get off? Otherwise you can't. Like, because you need that risk. I guess if it goes off, you know... It's alright, because like... Humans aren't affected by EMP, as I've learned in movies. Anyway, that's um, a conversation for another time. That'll be bonus content in, a, in about a year from now. Alright, so steel. We have 1356 steel. Um, also, I'm not sure about that fart cut. It hasn't been released at, as of the time of this recording. And I believe people have wanted that fart cut. So I'm hoping... I'm hoping eventually it shows... It shows itself. Like a turtle. Or a prairie dog coming out of its hole. That could be the tagline on the movie poster. Get off before it goes off. <laughs> oh. You could send a caravan to an adjacent square to strip mine. You know what? That's a... Uh, a pretty great idea. I don't remember how to do that, though. So... I have to do... Uh, so you gotta make a caravan first. This I haven't done in over a year. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Food was a little bit rough last time, I remember. So, maybe we can have a couple people hunt. Oh, it's just squirrels. Oh, it's a turkey. Uh, world map. Colony. Form caravan. Okay. I want to make sure they have enough food. Maybe I should make some travel meals first. What do you think? Get some of them, uh... Package serve. We got 15 of them. Number available to send. Okay, so we got 15, and I'll send a little bit of rice. Wait, do we not have any other meals? It should tell you how many days it would last. Okay. Well. Who will we send to mine? We have to send someone with good mining. That's not shrimp. Not gonna be Ayla, probably. Dreeb? Uh, mining six for Dreeb. Orther, four. Dan, zero. So far, Dreeb is the best one. Stench, Stench! Stench and Dreeb. We could just send those two. 
And, uh, I can bring some muffalo. Or should I just bring, eh, you know, we'll bring muff muffo and buy the pool. And, uh... I wonder if I could send them with a pickaxe to help mine. But I still don't really know how the tools work in this game. Pretty bad at that. So, I'm gonna send... Was that a dead guy in the inventory? No. Yep. Maybe. Maybe a little bit. Just... Just a little dead. Yeah. Now, this is interesting. It won't let me send... ...automatically select... Oh, it's automatically selected the supplies. Okay. Days of Fu 4. Point. That should be enough. Yeah, I didn't even see that. Okay. Um... Yes. That's good. Let's send them out. It's only a couple people. Let's get some, uh... Some extra steel. It's not even a huge priority. We have a bunch of steel already, but a little bit more is, is gonna be nice. Disease, plague. Milt has plague. Alright. Well... Milt is the doctor. Dreeb was the secondary doctor. So now we need a th tertiary doctor? Oh, man. Maintain vat. It's the Rick and Morty vat episode. That episode, the new one, was actually pretty good, though. I, I gotta be honest, I enjoyed it. Dreeb's caravan has arrived. Well, that's... that's nice. Milt, go over there. Okay, so, um... What do we got here? Should tell you when they leave and arrive. Oh, yeah, the extra weight. Yeah, that makes sense. How do I... how do I get in there? I need to view them. I don't know how to do that. It should be a zoom in button, no? It's, it's not quite... Maybe they didn't quite arrive yet? I don't know, that's weird. Caravan idle. Yeah, I don't know. Double click's not working, right click's not working. Settlements cannot be directly adjacent to- maybe this is too close. And I can't zoom in. I, I don't really understand what's happening here, but I, it won't let me do it. It's just going from here to the world map. <laughs> no, right click doesn't work either. I'll just have them, like, go here, and see if that helps. Smoke leaf finished. No, no good. That is strange. It's a couple yaks. Yaks and some rams have arrived. It's good because we will need the meat. Tattered apparel. Got some issues with tattered apparel here. It seems... The steel helmet... And the parka. As usual. Alright, we'll make some parka. Uh, 
Um, it was Ayla as well. So Ayla, what, what's... Shirt. Well, they're, um... They're just idle now. I can't do anything else. one more away and two settle, maybe? No, it's okay. I, I mean, appreciate the help gear. Problem is, I, I don't know either, and it's not very clear. Visitors from the Broken Empire have had enough of you. They did not enjoy their stay. All right. Peace out then, Cub Scouts. Your faction can only have one base. I'm not looking for a base, I just want to chill here and, and check it out. Is this even a thing that's, like, possible? It's a menu option. A tree can mine without settling. I'm not on Randy. Now I'm on Randy. That Ray Sipe is Kermit. Metal Gear. Solid Snake. Shadow Hood. Spec Ops. Alright, well, I have, um, gear looking up the information, but truthfully, it seems like it, yeah, it seems like a menu setting or something's bizarre. Something's weird about this, because usually, I mean, I thought you'd be able to just zoom in. Well, I'm going to send these lads back. Also, I had something that could give one of my other colonists the thing, yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought there would be an easy option to go in, too. Okay, who's getting psionic abilities? Lemmy? I think John would make a good thumbnail with Lemmy getting psychic abilities. Let's see. What's, what's going on with Lemmy's health? <laughs> Lemmy's got armor skin, and soon will also be psychic. Install Psychic Harmonizer. You had to install a mod just to set camps up like that? Oh. I see. 
Milt is giving Lemmy psychic powers. Here we go. Hell yeah. Alright, well, we'll have to find our steel another way. Who else needs an organ? Dan has a peg leg still. The Broken Empire is back, even though they just said they would never be back. Oh, we were going to clone Dreeb, right? Okay, um... We need protein mash and nutrient solution. Okay, we're working on that now. You need to make sure Max Colonies in game is two or more. Then there should be a settle button. Okay. Limmy is capable of mental, but I don't know how to activate it. Begin linking ritual. Maybe I need to, like, plant another, um, spot, a shrine. I like how- <laughs> I was like, oh, Lemmy's building his own shrine. No, he's just puking. Lemmy has broken down and is wandering around confused because of the anesthetic. Okay. That's a weird thing there. Dreeb's caravan has arrived at Metropolis. I mean... I mean, yeah. Okay, we're doing alright on food. I think I can turn some of the food production. Uh, 50 meals is fine. I'm okay with that. I just want to clone Dreeb. I know we had Dreeb's DNA somewhere. It's on his sheets. No, it's- there is uh, a Dreeb- there's something Dreeb related. It's like Dreeb's engrams or something. This is weird, because I thought I installed the thing in Limmy. Psychic Harmonizer. Did I install the wrong thing? Ooh. I meant to do Psylink Noraformer. Ah. Uh, fuck, I don't re even remember what that was. Well, I'm looking for the proper operation, and it, I don't even see it. I don't, I don't know how to get this thing even installed.
use. Lemmy's gonna use it. Psylink gained Lemmy. Pain block. Block pain. Allow a person to move and act even with grievous injuries. Okay, so now armor skin and pain block. It's pretty cool. So now we have to set up a meditation spot. Specifically for Limmy. So Limmy can meditate now, every now and then. And then block the pain out of losing all the things Limmy has lost throughout this playthrough. Okay, I have this new smoke leaf grow lamp. And I'm going to uninstall this one. I wonder if I should just reinstall it up here, because we're going to use this space eventually. Yeah, let's try it. So I'll do that, and then I'll build the new one. Right there. Critical alert, major risk. Oh, fuck, I'm still drafted. Whoops. Oh, Jesus, Lemmy. Sorry about that. Psychic Harmonizer is a special psychic implant that projects the mood of the user to other pawns. Uh-oh. Lemmy is the most miserable bastard I have in my colony. Easily. Should I uninstall that? I mean, he gets insulted, his friends die, his mom... He's in pain. His environment is unsightly, which I find to be rather suspect. This dude's environment is amazing. I may have to remove that from his brain soon. Alright, well, Nub Nub's gonna build this. Okay, so here, here we go. 1,000 watt. That's a really efficient... Um... Thing there. Now, I don't know if this is the lamp... That's gonna make things go a lot quicker. I'm gonna take a look over at the weed. New machinery to aid in the growth. Um... Mixology. We still don't have Brian with a Q. Well, hey, at the very least, it's a better lamp. Okay. I always get confused. There's a million tasks. So, I need to figure out what I'm going to do here. I needed... There's... definitely... Dreeb's DNA somewhere around here. It's B-R-I-A-M... I don't know where the Q goes. Maybe... I don't know. Does anyone remember the meme? I think it's Brian with a Q at the end, yeah. Yeah, this is weird. I don't see the, the Dream DNA thing.
Maybe it's already in the vat. Filling for human. Might be in there already, and we just have to input some organic material. The amount of full batteries we have right now is pretty, pretty good, so I could be doing industrial drilling, I think. Yep, I am a cowboy, and I will break rock chunks into stones, into, into blocks. Arthur, can you make this clone? No. Make marble blocks. Oh boy. Oh boy. Exotic goods trader is here. Thank you. That's neat. That's very needed right now. Stench has a social score of, or social skill of one. Dan has good social. Eleven social, in fact. Alright, let's trade. Let us trade. Hempaline? Oh, I thought it was like a trampoline made of hemp. Um... So this is Word of Joy. It looks like... I would imagine Word of Joy... You can implant Joy Fuzz. Oh, it reduces consciousness. We probably don't want that. Have some components. I'm trying to see if there's anything else here I could use. I mean, psychic soothe pulser. We already have one of those. Uh, not really anything else I, I need. Tech print jump packs. This is 2300. Nuclear stomach. Replaces the body's need for food. Food is required only to replace matter lost from the body. The artificial stomach cannot get food poisoning, however, there's little room to shield the reactor, so radiation increases the risk of cancer. Oh. Jesus. I'll just take all their components. God damn it, we're gonna clone Dreeb today. This is what happens when the game doesn't give you party members, or you accidentally let them get captured, or you um, imprison them for a while. And then instead of letting them join your team, you just let them go. Which 
was the, the, the poopy decision. That was the poopy decision. Uh, people were asking me kind of about the Final Fantasy IX TV show that's going to talk about death and loss and war, uh, but geared towards ages of like 10 to 13. So that's a thing that's happening, apparently. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, I know how I feel about it, which is it's probably not going to be good. Yeah, I was 14 when Final Fantasy IX came out, so that that's about the age. But I, I feel like even then, I only appreciated the game more and more as I got oldered. As I oldered, I ended up loving the game more. I hope that if they're going to do something Final Fantasy IX related, which is a really weird call that it's going to be like, here's an animated series, like... We've never seen these characters outside of Final Fantasy IX, really. Just a couple cameos. I just hope that the writing is good. And I hope that the voices aren't weird for the characters, because you kind of have your own voices. This happens a lot for stuff. I'll eventually get used to it, but it's like people that read Lord of the Rings for years. And then... Suddenly, Viggo Mortensen is Aragorn. From what I understand... A lot of these lads still have their own version of Aragorn in their heads. But Vigo, you know, is a, is a good take on it. Duck egg. Green duck egg. So yeah, I'm not really sure if it's going to be good. I, I have my doubts. I Square Enix has been kind of like very hit or miss for me in recent years. And uh, I, I hope... I hope it's good because I want to live in that world. I love the world of Final Fantasy IX. I love those characters so much. But I think about Final Fantasy Advent Children. And I think about Final Fantasy Spirits Within. And I'm like, hmm, wait a minute. Cloth parka. Devil Strand research finished. some devil strand in there. Plant some, rather. Turns out there was a little bit more steel on the map. This one's good. The more the better. Okay, so this will be... Wait a minute. Devil Strand? Batman? Where is it? Looks like it's outdoors only. You can't build it in here. We're not outdoors, but you can't build it just in one of these hydroponics basins. That's weird. Uh... Fuck, what now? Devil Strand makes for good, like, armor. Well, not armor, like, dusters.
Let's see if I can build them in there. I wonder though, these don't have get their own water. Shrimp, can you uh, get some chemicals in there? They die really, really easily in hydroponics, so it was removed. I wonder if the wooden planters at all improve the odds of that. Wiki says growing zone. Psychic drone. Got a shitty psychic drone. Look, it's Chewy. <laughs> That's his name, Chewy. Penguin. Some good names. Bonch. Dumbo. Drop that money. Well, enjoy your stay. First row green gas canister should be your cloning material, by the way. First row green gas canister. That's the nutrient solution, yeah. This needs another 430 nutrient solution. Shrimp is starving. Shrimp is no longer starving. Oh, let's see if Devil Strand grows in here. Nope. Smoke leaf. Hmm. All right, well, I guess we're doing some smoke leaf. I will reserve this for Devil Strand. <laughs> Is that Munsk? With the joint? Do you think him and Bezos are going to have a spacewalk together? Do you think when they get to space, they will sing Imagine by John Lemon when they get there? Imagine no possessions. It isn't hard to do. <laughs> it's like the most tone-deaf fucking shit when rich celebrities sing Imagine, like during a fucking crisis. I mean, it is imagining. <laughs> it's just, it just makes me laugh to think of, like, Elon Musk in the car above the Earth. Listen, I'm all for, you know, benefits to electric cars and space flight. I think space uh, technology has pushed our own technology ahead so much. Because without, like, the space race and developing a lot of this shit for getting us into space we wouldn't have nearly as many technological advancements as fast as we did and also i think it's it's a really important thing for humanity to get off this planet a little bit but you know we still got a lot of shit we got to take care of down here as well but i just love to see him in the car in a spacesuit you know uh orbiting the earth 
trying to sing Imagine on key. Oh, the James Corden song? Yeah, I saw that. The, the Quarantine's Over song. Listen, I'm not... I'm not going to say this just because James Corden is a late night host and because I am also a late night host. <laughs> I'm not. But I think he is the least funny of any late night host. Like, seriously, I I don't know how that... I know how that dude became popular. Karaoke in a car with celebrity. But, uh, but really, it boggles the mind... It absolutely boggles the mind. How you have people who are so much funnier, even on YouTube, with like a thousand subs than James Corden. <laughs> yeah, he was in Cats. He was in Cats, that's correct. Apparently, he's a dick, too. Like, I, I hate the idea of celebrities being dicks. Like, those stories about, like, all oh, the celebrities a penis. Well, again... Uh-oh. The thing about that is, it depends on... Like, where is the celebrity when you ask them for a picture? Were they eating at dinner with their family? So I think it's it's worth context, but that said, I've I've heard stories that James Corden is a penis to his fans and others, and I, I kind of believe it. Yeah, well, yeah, CBS wants milk toast mediocrity, and someone who will consistently get views. I think it's it's pretty clear that James Corden is that kind of level of funny where he will consistently get views for the for you know for the TV shows and ratings. And he won't make waves. That's why I liked Ferguson the best. He always, like, shit on his parent company. He always shit on, like, you know, the low production value. It was just... It was good. People say Jay Leno's stand-up is really decent, if that's truly what NBC, NBC did to him. Here's the thing about Jay Leno. He was, apparently, in the late 70s and 80s, a very funny comedian... Comedy tastes have changed dramatically over the years. But someone like Leno probably did have a lot of, like, good bits. And Letterman loved him. Letterman had him on all the time. He was actually kind of like a rebel, apparently. And Jimmy Fallon, I think, has talent. I think. Like, especially with the classic rock stuff he does. And I think he's he's probably a nice dude. He's another one, though, that I can't really watch. Like, Conan, Letterman, all well and good. That's, you know, I like them. Um, Colbert, I truthfully just... not interested. Like, I haven't... It's funny because... And I don't, like, want to bring up um, bad feelings for people. And honestly, I hate bringing up any kind of politics because it's just... It really is just bad feelings, no matter how you cut it. And it is for me, too. But since the election, I haven't heard from or seen Colbert once. And it seemed like he was popping up, like, once a month or more for four years. 
I like Colbert. I loved the Colbert Rapport, well, the episodes I did see of it. Um, because I thought he was genuinely a funny dude. I liked his sketch comedy. I liked him when he worked with, like, uh, you know, uh, the D Dana Carvey show. That's it. Yes, the Dana Carvey show. But I feel like that's, um, the late night guys for a while, they just had one joke. So, got to be careful when you dip into the forbidden well. However, I do like Colbert as an interviewer mostly, and I love that he loves Lord of the Rings, but I just got kind of bored of him very quickly. Like, I watched his interview with Viggo Mortensen, Elijah Wood. That stuff is classic, because he knows a lot of information. He has a genuine passion for that topic. And that, that's good. But Conan is like that with, like, almost everything, really. Conan, like, had the intelligence, to me, to really do great in interviews with almost anyone. And that's why his podcast, mostly, is pretty good. I like it a lot when the guest is, is good and they feed off of each other nicely. Also, I think Andy Richter is the best sidekick in history. I, a Conan show is going off the air, so it's, um, you know, he's doing an HBO thing soon, and he's doing his last couple episodes, and he just had Paul Rudd and Bill Hader on, and Paul Rudd showed a clip, two clips, one from this old SNL sketch that was the worst one. You gotta watch it, it's great. It's the worst SNL sketch ever. Lorne Michael said it got zero laughs, he hated it. So they show the clip. And then uh, Paul Rudd shows a clip from some shitty old movie that he was going to show a long time. It's good, it's, it's worth it. But yeah, no, Andy Richter's great. He's the wittiest, like, you could just turn to him and he's always got something good. Like, the dude is just very quick on his feet. These mortars are in a weird location. I'm gonna bring them back to my base. This was when they tried to siege my base, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, we can grab these mortars. But yeah, it is the end of an era. Conan... Conan was great, and he will continue to be great on his podcast, I'd imagine. And on the HBO show. Hey, Conan! People wonder why my Jay Leno impression doesn't sound very much like Jay Leno. It's David Letterman's impression of Jay Leno, which Conan also adopted. Hey, Con, That's a nice show you got there. It'd be a shame if something would have happened to it. <laughs> look, <laughs> look, it's a baby dream. It's got 21.7 days left. Hopefully there's no power problems. Manlet. A dreeblet. Yeah. Silver ore. Oh shit, that's cool. Just keep in mind, I wasn't on Randy Random the whole time I was on Cassandra. Now I'm on Randy. Now I am Randy. How? How come these um, brainlets don't repair this clothing? Let 
Maybe we'll be able to get them to repair. Also, Sphinx, since you've just joined, I'd like to let you know that um, I installed psychic powers in Limmy, but I also accidentally installed the mood sharer, so now his shitty mood gets shared with everyone else. It's okay, he'll eventually... In 17 days, he'll be a lot better. In 7.2 days as well. Yeah, no one else can die now. Yep. Wait, are we repairing these shitty weapons? You know what? Maybe let's not repair the shitty weapons. We repair the shitty clothing, though. So, vat maintenance. I, I don't want to have to do this manually each time, but... Maintain vat. Milt. Morty, you've got to maintain the vat, Morty! And Dreeb. I want- you know what? Dreeb should be taking care of his own clonelet. Infestation. Where's the grenades? Who's got the shotgun? Okay, someone here has a shotgun, I know it. moment, I don't think anyone has the shotgun. I think the person who has the shotgun was carried away last time. We, we need... We need to figure this out. Maybe we just leave this here, and they just don't have a bedroom now, and that's fine. Jeez, uh... Make the floor around it stone and light it on fire. How do you light it on fire? Do you think I could mortar this? It's underground. Do I have Maltovs? Yeah, I got Maltovs. You know what? I like your idea. I'm going to try it. Tell you what, that ain't your bed anymore, friends.
I think this is a wonderful idea. Ayla's gonna equip the Molotov cocktails. Oh, they've got through! Ayla should equip the shotgun if we're going to play it like this. Where, where did the chain shotgun go? Huh. I know I had one. Alright, never mind that. Um... Where the fuck did Ayla's, um, weapon go? There was a hand cannon. Pump is fine. Just, or you know what? Sawed off shotgun, yeah. I mean, I want to get them before they do too much damage, but... I... Fuck. Hey, Owl, can you take care of this? He's not injured too bad. Oh, right eye is only crushed. You know, no problem. Motherfuckers are breaking up my house. Oh, okay. Gotta make sure stench is all right. Bleeding out. Death in 19 hours. Come on, Milt. You got this. Together, they are a force to be reckoned with. Oh, 
The problem is they were meleeing when they should not have been meleeing, but that's just- that's just my opinion. Alright, Milt, you gotta go repair, or- or go heal up. Well, that was a fucking mess. But good thing Owl left some kibble. Oh boy. Well, that could have been a lot worse. Uh, we only had Stench lose an eye. I need to give Stench... If Stench is going to be like the, the de facto melee... ...person... ...then we're going to need... Um, ...we're going to need Stench to have like fucking amazing armor. Marine Helmet, that's good. Flak Vest is fine, Flak Pant is fine, Shield Belt, great. But... I'm thinking we can get... Marine Armor for Stench. On the positive side, we'll have Kibble... ...for a very, very long time after this. Left eye mangled scar. Oof. Right eye and left eye got mangled. That maintenance required. Hey, Dreeb. Take care of your clone son. Your small clone son. It's- it's Morty. It's fucking Morty. The clone theory is correct. Morty is just a Rick clone. I'm so sorry to bring up Rick and Morty, but that new episode... I, I watched it. As I mentioned earlier, and it was good. There's a new Red Letter Media video today about, um... Some fucking weird Ice Pirates movie. And while I enjoyed it, I was upset that it wasn't more of Mike reading Jerry Springer episode titles for 25 minutes. But otherwise, yeah, it was good. So, Ayla is with who? A Ayla's... Hang on a second. Ayla and Dan, right. Anyway, thanks Randy Random. You know what's weird? I'm actually getting crusty frame rates with this game right now. When you increase your bitrate for recording, on, like, OBS or something. Does that increase the amount of CPU you're using? I'm just gonna alt-delete real quick. It's 12,000, the bitrate. It's it's only 18% CPU. The game was just, just getting a little bit choppy. I'm using H.264, yeah, because H.265 isn't natively supported by Twitch. Does Orther have a creative bone in his body? A little bit. He could whittle. I mean, Arthur in Red Dead 2. Yeah, uh, this game's getting a little bit weird. Arthur in Red Dead 2 draws, but uh, yeah, there's some, like... I don't know, you guys can't see it because it's broadcasting at 30 for you, but it's a little strange right now. 
It's a little choppy. NVIDIA NVENC H264 new encoder. Okay. GPU, but H264. Okay. Pigskin button down. I guess we could always repair. However, Ayla could use the pigskin button down instead. Muffalo wool parka. That's good. El Nub Nub is having a break risk. What's going on, El Nub Nub? Slept in the heat? Oh, it's 101 degrees. Oh, shit. So the heaters are still on. Aren't they supposed to turn off automatically? otherwise what's getting cooler in here slightly cooler in here and have, I guess, build another vent or two. I'm trying to really, I can't see the difference between the over the wall cooler and regular. Just not sure. If I were to mine here and then place a cooler, that's enough space for the, the hot air to exhaust out of, right? If it's covered, those spaces can get really hot. Well, Orther is work- or sorry, Milt is working in like 93 degree, like, weather. Heat stroke. Orther. Fuck. Maybe we just go kill those assholes. Indoor- look at this. This is- why does this count as indoors? Two hundred and tw- what the fuck? Is there a roof over this? Oh, it's in the mountain. Oh no. Is this bad? Are 
At one point, things could get, catch fire with exhaust. Oof. Okay. Maybe it's time to go kill those assholes. L actually, let's see how much longer they have. There's six enemies here. Uh, I guess the climate adjuster is actually mostly beneficial. It's just really hot right now. worried about that extreme temperature in this little space, but... Oh well. Vat maintenance... I wonder if I can repair this. I wonder if you can just randomly repair a, a steel helmet like that. Alright, well Nub Nub can wear flak instead. And then, uh, Tattered Apparel still. Milt has, um, a shitty helmet as well. And a cloth parka. But Shrimp is building a new parka. Probably not a great idea to wear parkas in, I don't know, 99 degree weather. All right, well, it's a little bit cooler now, inside. I'd prefer not to sleep in 80 degree weather, but it's also... It's not as bad as 100. Construct that and build a copy of this because it, it actually is quite a bit better in terms of power. How are we doing on components? Well, steel. Steel is good, mostly. Components is pretty good, mostly. Minor break risk, Limmy. Hot. Tattered apparel, still nub nub. What's what's your uh, apparel looking like? It's the parka. Parka done. The cr 
Crusher crew has arrived. Let's see, from anywhere else. I guess they really can only come in from that one spot, so you know what, we'll get them over here. I'll let Stench go back to bed, because melee. What have you got? Smoke bombs. They're fleeing already. Is this person Loser? This person's name is just Loser. Incapable of social. Iron-willed. Careful shooter. Teetotaler. Strictly avoids alcohol and recreational. You know what? I don't think this guy's a loser at all. Try to save you, my friend. How about Sella here? Pyromaniac and beautiful. Incapable of dumb labor, skilled labor, firefighting, and likes to start fires. I'm the fire starter. Twisted fire starter. You you can uh you can you can fuck right off. You, however, loser. You're all right. Let's see. Resistance remaining 20. Not bad. Not bad. Not refrigerated spoils in 2.4 days. That's no way to talk about a, a human. Minor break risk, stench. What's, uh, what's going on, stench? Observed corpse. Ah, uh, yes. So, I'm trying to figure out which grow lamp Like, is there another grow lamp? I don't see anything else that looks like a lamp here in the weed spot. But we're gonna try anyway. Major break risk. Lemmy. That's good. Share that mood with everyone. Hot. Lemmy's just hot. Heat stroke, Lemmy. Just, why don't you just relax, Lemmy? Play some video games. Marine armor is finished, and we have another raid. Thanks, Randy. Randall, please. Randall, please. Okay, I'm gonna build some marine armor. What do we got here? This is, um... 100 Plasteel Advanced Component Uranium. You know what? Yes. Oh, Prestige Marine Armor. Yeah. It enhances the psychic ability, too. Do it. Build it. Okay, where's this raid? 
They will prepare for a while, then attack. Alright. Oh, look, it's meats! There's a, little, a bunch of little meats down there. I thought one of them was named Soybean, but the name was Skubarababan. Gonna wait for them to attack. A li like, you know... Yak beef has rotted away in storage. I guess 44 is not enough, huh? It's too hot. Shrimp, you gotta turn that... Get that switch. There we go. Yeah, I leave the second cooler off because it's usually freezing around here. They're beginning their assault, now it's time. Once again, Stench, you can sleep. You are not needed at this moment. Major break risk, Lemmy, again. Alright, one Unga down. This is the gorge. The Unga Gorge, I'm gonna call this. Dan, get the fuck out of the way! God damn it. He's all right, though. Mostly. Um, we have Irocare. Pessimist, abrasive, incapable of caring. Fast learner. Age 59 years old. Currently has no clothing. Uh... Decent melee, decent shoot. Construction, can learn. Social, intellectual, plants. I mean... What do you guys think? Should I get Irocare? I'm gonna get Irocare. How's gray? What do we got here? Gray is good at construction. Fuck it, we got a big prison now. Do you remember when I had, like, doubled this amount of people for a short time and then failed miserably at making them live? I remember that. I was supposed to at least get one colonist, but the problem was that even... even then... like, one of my dudes was carried away. It, it was not good, it, it sucked. Limmy is a miserable bastard, and I'm removing the thing. Cause I'm a dreeb. And I'm a widow. Yep, 
Yes, father. We got a bunch of minor break risks. I think I'm gonna use the Psychic Soothe Pulsar. Yeah, everyone's got a good mood now. What happened to Gray? Did Gray die? Hmm. Oh well. I wonder what kind of boost that is anyway. Strange feeling. Oh, it's plus 15. And now Lemmy's rotten fucking mood. Have you ever been around people like that? I mean, I know the show... What We Do in the Shadows... ...has exactly that. Colin Robinson. It's pretty much Lemmy. In this game. Just sucks the good mood right out of a room. Irocare has gotten sick from an infection. In 15 days, the, the clone of Dreeb will be born. Allegedly. I wonder if anyone's gonna actually make the marine armor. Dan asked Loser to join. Oh man, Ira Care is gonna take forever to join. Hey, you know, as long as you don't try to escape. So, Milt, how do you feel about maybe, uh... ...creating that marine armor? This is gonna take forever. Holy shit. And Milt has good crafting, too. That maintenance is good. So right now I'm doing further smoke leaf production to possibly get a grow lamp that can increase the growth even further. And we are growing weed. That I've decided if you if you missed it, I am now growing weed. Advanced smoke leaf cultivation has been researched. Here we go, let's see. New grow lamp unlocked? No. CBD extraction will be possible. I'm sorry to bother you lads and uh, that are watching this right this second, but can you look up the smoke leaf production 
if there's like a really good grow lamp or if I'm just missing something. Because I was told there's a grow lamp that increases growth by like a lot, lot. And I thought that would be kind of cool. Growing equipment more efficiently. Self-contained growing unit uses glitter tech to rapidly grow smoke. Okay, so then the, the lamp I thought existed does not exist. Where were the weapons that shoot like lasers and shit? something like that previously Maybe it's down here uh. hmm is it could it be this looks like rocket launchers and shit I know there was, like, tech, um, like, laser gun kind of things, but nerve stapling sounds fun. They probably meant that new one. One new one. Are you sure you added it? What? Added what? A laser weapon mod. No, what are those? Th there were those weapons that you could build that were, um... In my last playthrough, I had them. What the fuck were they? I don't know. I give up. Medical emergency iro care. Extreme infection, let's see. Immunity 80%. Yeah, it's, she'll, she'll be alright. Irocare has died. Cause infection. <laughs> <laughs> Famous last words. She'll be all right. Left foot sh shredded. Torso shredded. All right. At least losers. All right. These basins aren't being used. Alright, John. Have a good night, man. Thanks for the help with Rim tonight. Skill trainer, intellectual. We still have that if needed. Lemmy still a little bit. I don't know. Observed a corpse. Well, that, that explains it. Cargo pods. Slag and survival meal.
I'm gonna go for the, um, heavy weapons after this. Fuck it. Whatever they are, they're probably good, so... Devil Strand's gonna take a while. How's this? Uh, Milt... Milt's got a lot of stuff he's doing, and, and most of it is... <sighs> we don't need that many stone, Milt, I promise you. Now, this is crafting. Well, Milt's priority one on crafting. Unless it's tailoring. I wonder if this counts as tailoring for the fabrication be bench. For mach marine armor. Where's this, those meats? I'm gonna get... ...a meat... ...to mate with this meat. I'm gonna do it. Hang on. Alright. We need a male meat. Kind of some old meat. This this is a fourteen year old meat. Meats may attack on failed taming. Uh oh. There he is, Dreeblit. That's 147 in meat years, yeah. Dan successfully tamed a meat. It is now called Meat One. <laughs> uh, what name? Should it just be Meat One? Meat... How about Meat Two? No. Bad connotation. Meat... Meat Prime? No, because this is not the first meat. Well done. Rare. How about Metium? <laughs> oh boy. Now we're getting to, like, good levels of comedy. New meat just dropped. What kind of training? Oh, this, this, um... Well, we now have a warg that can attack, rescue, and haul. Follow master while drafted, follow master while doing field work. Fuck yeah. Meet, meet, medium. Wow, what a sentence that is. It's like buffalo, 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 which is a real sentence. Fucking apparently. Milt just doesn't want to work on this thing, does he? Does this count as crafting? Oh, Milt's hungry. Or, uh, 
tailor let's see tailoring shrimp also did not finish Animal starvation warg. Go eat, you dopey asshole. Come on. You got this. You know how to eat. Does it not eat kibble? It's just not eating the kibble. It just killed a squirrel and ate it. You know what? I, I trust this warg to be just fine. Eighty one percent grown smoke leaf. Here we go. Twelve days left on Dreeblet. So much freedom. Donkey here. Donkey here. I had a pretty good burger today. I will say I had a very a pretty good burger. But one problem is the pickles. There's this place it has some pretty good stuff, and they have custom pickles that they're proud of, like homemade, you know, their own blend of whatever fucking oily water they use for such a thing. Not a fan. Not that sour. Mostly just soggy tasting weird pickles. They're not terrible. They didn't ruin the food by any means, and they're on their own, too. They give you, like, a little cup because they're proud of their pickles. And I'm just like, yeah. No. A good pickle is almost irreplaceable. Like, I pretty much, when I go to, like, Jersey Mike's or a place like that, I pretty much always ask for a few pickles on the thing. This is like a very Larry David conversation. Do you respect a good pickle? I don't know, Larry, what the fuck you talking about, huh? My, my, my mother-in-law, she died. You're talking about pickles, La Larry. I could just see it. Him and Richard Lewis going on about this fucking pickle thing. You know, it just wasn't sour enough, Richard.
What do you think Dreeblet is gonna taste like when he gets out of that pickle vat? That's another dude that uh, makes me laugh, even if he sometimes just goes onto these bizarre tangents. He's um, been on Conan's podcast and on on uh, on the show because Conan wanted to have him on as a guest for his last couple episodes on TBS as JB Smoove, who I think is like actually genuinely hilarious, but sometimes he goes a little far into bizarro territory just hoping that he'll land some kind of joke he usually does though but he's really good on curb and the thing about jb smooth he's got a podcast where he like gives life advice and he just explains quotes and shit and i'm like okay that's pretty good for him that that works to his strengths but You know, is it all, like, like, real? Like, does he actually, does he plan this stuff ahead of time, or does he just do the thing? And just hope he, he gets some material out of it. Okay, Milt, you're, you're... Not utilizing your skills properly. There we go. Now Milt is utilizing skills. Oh, we've got hay. What's shrimp doing? Relaxing socially. Oh, relaxing socially with the animals. I was mentioning before, but my god. My head. It was really hot here a couple days ago, and uh, I just, I think I was just so busy doing shit that I, I didn't drink enough water. And I'm pretty sure I left myself dehydrated again. I think that's what's going on. It feels like a dehydration headache. Oh, fuck. Well, no point waiting for something to happen. Um, in the- the- kind of the front left to middle left of my head is where the- the headache is- is localized. Okay, I have to deal with this... This, uh... Raid. Let's see what I can do here. Got some snipers. And we're gonna try to- I'm gonna have shrimp. Mortar. Their- their base. Yeah, shrimp! Yeah! They got the Joker? Nice, they're fleeing.
prime counselor died. Their new prime counselor is Rose Cosmos. All right. You can call off the mortar strike now, shrimp. Do we have any, um, anyone alive here? Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. Well, <laughs> there goes... There goes the food. Incendiary launcher, that's a good find. 14 components, pretty nice. Like, 500 steel. This is all good stuff. I didn't even need to- whoa, voice crack. I didn't even need to send my raiding party. I could have just had shrimp mortar them, and that would have been enough to cause, uh, cause them enough damage, I think. Nub Nub was injured, but, I mean, he's already missing an ear, a thumb, a, a ring finger, a middle finger. He can't even, like, wonk properly. Ten point three days until Dreeblit arrives. Wow, we are out of meat in what I'm voice crack time. It's just that time, I guess. Like, I don't really want them to eat squirrel meat. I think that's kind of weird. And I don't want to kill the meats because they're nice. Alright, eat some fucking squirrels, whatever. Marine armor on the way. So we don't have enough people planting. Or growing. So shrimp. Dreeb is barely doing it. Ayla could, you know, do it a little bit, but she's busy researching shit. Nub Nub. Dan could probably do it, but he's already got a million things. Milt, we don't need doing it. Orther. Orthopedic. You know, we'll get Orther on that. These fires are still going. Gonna urgently haul some of this shit out of here. Yes, Dreeb is going to be waking up in the middle of the night to tend to his son. is considered the home area.
I guess I might have claimed something over there at some point. Yao self-tamed. A Yao has become tame. It is now designated Yao 1. Uh, do we keep the meat? How about y yowl? It's more milk. Okay, we're gonna need like another animal bed now. God damn. It's a lot of animals we have now. This rifle emplacement's still pretty useless over here now. It's only really good for this one spot. <laughs> Ouch. There's the smoke leaf. It spoils in 28 days. I guess we need, like, a fucking lab to turn it into something... ...smokable, rubbable, edible... I mean, the CBD is probably the best... Just gonna set it here. I don't want it to rot. Heavy turrets. Okay, so it means better weapons up next. Guarding Ian. Okay, special prisoner. Okay, so there's embarrassing information about Koro's appearance. Koro doesn't want him to be freed. You'll need to keep the prisoner for nine days until the scandal passes. Ian is sick with blood rot and will require daily treatment. A mech cluster will deploy nearby. Fuck. Only one advanced component. Psychic Emanator. Psych Trainer Flash Storm. Eh. I don't know if I like that quest very much. That that seems like a lovely quest of death. I have a week to decide. The, this series of animals. Just the most random. Just like three meats. A, do a donkey here. And two muffalo. Speaking of meat. Looks like we're doing okay on meat and food. Especially milk. I can start boosting some moods with, uh, fine meals. Couple fine meals. I wonder if Loser is about to join. Loser is almost ready to join. 
That's such a good name, I almost don't... I almost don't want to rename Loser to Brian with a Q. Fire is melting some fucking steel right about now. Aren't fires good for lake forests? Like in some places in the world, they actually induce the forest fire themselves. Mother of El Nub Nub has arrived. Did you see that? El Nub Nub just passed her, didn't say a goddamn thing. Alright, we got bulk goods. First things first, do you want some plain leather? Like, I don't know. 1,800 of it. <laughs> uh, what can we take for that? Just, I'll take all of the steel that you have, thank you. Beer. Hemp fabric jacket. Altex robe. Could throw Lemmy in one of those. Devil Strand War Veil. Black Pant. No, that's fine. Black Jacket. Steel Shrimp Helmet. Sandstone Meditation Throne. Muffalo Wool Royal Armchair. <laughs> The fuck are these objects? Jump pack. Oh, wait a minute. I, I can't combine that with the shield pack. That sucks. I might get it anyway and just throw it on, like, Ayla. Or something. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I can do here so I don't lose money. Because I want to sell some of that shit. I got an Eltex robe, too. I could throw Limmy in that. Otherwise, not really anything else. The steel shrimp helmet seems fun. Grab it for shrimp. And I'll sell even more plain leather because... God. We've sure got a lot of that. Let's do negative 2100. Okay. I don't think... I don't think El Nub Nub could uh, or rather Stench could wear it. Because it says Utility Slot. Yeah, it's the Utility Slot. Alright, so, Ayla. That said, making a, a good shotgun for Ayla might be... Might be nice. Chain shotgun. I don't think there's... 
Oh, maybe there's a better shotgun. You know, I'll hold off. Because there's... I have advanced weaponry on the way, and maybe this includes... Something kind of good. Okay. Um, oh, the... Armor was built. Prestige armor. I can't believe I'm giving Stench all the best shit. Stench is a fucking monster, like a unit. Absolute monster. Move speed lowered, but that's okay. So now, with the shield belt and all this other shit, Stench should be pretty uh, resilient when it comes to melee. I'm wondering, though, would it be worth it to make more? Um, let's see how much steel I have now. I have enough steel to start producing some components. Hemp biocomposite. Maybe I should make one of those tables. Try it. Trim. I don't want to make joints out of it. I, just... I don't think you can make armor from joints. Then again, then again, maybe. Work Frenzy, Dan, Inspired Mining, Milt. Those are good. Thanks, Randy. Crusher crew plus relationship. Fuck. Alright, um... Approaching from multiple angles and they want to tunnel. Lover of co colonist Orther has arrived. Boy, that's a fucking Red Dead Redemption 2 twist. Canada! Stokes. Careful shooter, chemical fascination, incapable of social, intellectual, artistic. Eh. Peace out. Dream, you need to maintain the vat. You're really coming in from here, of all places. Damn, just got fucking annihilated. How far can Ayla jump anyway? Oh, okay. Pretty fucking far.
Yeah, wharf. Yeah, fuck him up. Stench. Get in there. Never mind. Yeah, we need a better weapon for Ayla, because the jump jet's really good. And I feel like a close range weapon with jump jet would be very appropriate. Why are we melee fighting? Okay, well... That worked out pretty well. Oh! Hayden! Let's see, are you almost dead? Yeah, you're almost dead, but... What are your stats? Uh, incapable of dumb and skilled labor. Oof. You... You can't lift a rock? Can you lift a flower? What is it you say exactly you do here? Soon they'll be incapable of breathing. Yo. Greatest diss tracks of the 90s. Parts one and two, right there. That was that was both of them. There's a lot of dead animals in the freezer. New recruit loser. Okay, guys, listen. Am I keeping the name Loser? And then naming the next person Brian with a Q? I think Loser is just too good of a name. It's too good. What kind of shirt was this? Oh, just a cloth shirt. So we can do flak. We need a flak uh, vest, I think. Was it, is it a? F yeah, there's no flak jacket in this game. Make flak vest. Yeah, there's a flak jacket right there. What? Do Loser's shooting is pretty good. We have a, a wide variety of shitty weapons to choose from. Sniper rifle. It's the best one here. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? Smoke leaf buds, smoke leaf seed. Look at this crusty image, my god. I'm still trying to figure out how to get, like, better hemp out of this thing.
new fuel and fabric can be created. I guess it's that. Because you can make components from weed in this game. Now, with mods. Of course you can with mods, but yeah. So, loser, how do you feel about making components? Component is crafting, so your crafting is kind of shitty, but you learn you will learn quickly. Mm, Medical is not great. Hall plus basic handle cook hunt construct will not do. Construction is just zero for loser. Loser is kind of like a jack of, of all trades, but mostly just shoot. Mostly just shoot and fight. Kind of not all that great at a lot of things. I don't get them on tailoring and crafting. It's more meat. Okay. Oh, you want to go to bed, loser? Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. No. Drowsy. I haven't slept in a while. Burning passion for my work. That's good. Dude's pretty happy overall. His rivals died. I mean, Wilkins... Fucking Wilkinson and Stokes? Those motherfuckers? They're dead. Yes. I don't know, that was like either an old-timey villain or Borat, or both. That's also a really, really nice crusty Kermit you got there, Dave. David. Well, well done. Well, loser has a room. Six point three days until Dreeb. I don't know if I'll be able to see Dreeb like get cloned properly today. I'm still, uh, kind of tired, and I have to be up somewhat early tomorrow, so... Uh, I'll play- the, I'll play this for another 5, 10. Usually that turns into a half hour, but I'm gonna try to cap that. So yeah, Dreeb- Dreeblet is an ongoing project. So, loser, what you, what you doing? What are you doing, loser? Oh, just moving dead humans into the cremator. I got it. Oh, wait, no, no, no. That's... You're lifting steel. Heavy weapons finished. Royal Tribute Collector has arrived. Weapons, tattered apparel, limmy. 
What are you wearing that's shitty? Helmet. I wonder what's better, the steel helmet or the flak helmet. Well, in any case, we have access to better weaponry now. Anti-material rifle. That was the one I was thinking of, I think. MP launcher. I wonder if there's a better shotgun. Launcher hand cannon. I don't see anything better. But a couple anti material rifles would be kind of cool. 16 component. Enemy armored equipment. One hit kill against infantry. That's a little dangerous. I'll make one of those. And, uh, I'll make the chain shotgun as well. Guess I could do rocket launchers now. If I needed to. So Milt's gonna take care of that. Um, loser. I need you to wear that flak vest. Flak jacket. Where's the flak jacket? Oh, loser here. It's it's here. We got two flak jackets. Chickens join. A group of chickens have wandered into the area. They seem accustomed to human contact and are joining the colony. Oh. We're eating Popeyes tonight, lads. I'm sorry to say these these chickens are very kind to join, but mm, I don't. I just don't have any room for them right now. They're sleeping in my storage room. Wait, Orther meditates? I mean, that's nice, but I didn't know that. Yeah, well, partner, partner, there's a lot of things you... Uh, there's a lot of things you know about me. Like, I'm actually Seth Rogen, if, if you can believe it. I mean, it was really boring. It's like the whole time I was just right under your, you're right under your nose. Your author is slowly turning into Edgar from Men in Black. Sugar. Water. I know my agar. That's not agar. Yeah, I should be dehydrated more often. It's just bizarre to me that Edgar is also private pile. But that's- that's range. That is definitely range. Sucking golf balls through garden hoses and all that. Now, is no one making these components? 
meet Yao is pregnant. Who's this? <laughs> what? Okay, let's build some of this stuff. Combat supplier. That, that's pretty good. Could use that. Maintain that damn vat. Alright, combat supplier. Now we can rid ourselves of these Ungo weapon... Steel club, hatchet, club, knife, hatchet. Probably want to get rid of some of these handguns. The bows. Shitty hand cannon. I'll keep a couple things on hand. I don't want to sell all of my weapons just in case at some point I'm going to need flash grenades, I guess. Black pin, gold. Oh, uh, there was a royal tribute collector. I didn't give him the tribute. Uh, they, we wish to pay... ME? Tribute? I will buy all these components, though. Do we need medicine? Can't hurt to buy a couple medicines. Good deal. Cleared out the storeroom a little bit. So, in terms of component con uh, construction and fabrication, what skill is that? Because these motherfuckers are not making it. It's not smithing, is it? Crafting eight. So it's it, it, it is crafting and, and it looks like the only one who can make this is Milt right now. Yeah, Milt can make it, but he just doesn't have the, the time for advanced components. No one else shrimp gets kinda close. Let's see. Regular component is also minimum skill eight. Hmm. Well, Milt is working on a fucking anti-material weapon, so... Nope, you're not going to bed. Oh, come on, Milt. You're in the home stretch now. Nice. Okay, massive weapon. Massive weapon. Who is my best shoot? Is it... Limmy? Is it Orther? It's Limmy so far. Uh, is it Dreeb? Dreeb has got a pretty good shoot too. 
And Dreeb is in better armor, so Dreeb, you're the main character of this. You're gonna- you're gonna get the... ...anti-material rifle. Loser, congratulations, you've inherited Dreeb's carbine. If you say carbine, you'll be pistol whipped. Even though that's how you say it. Um, friendly 41, what's the dude's name? Friendly, what the fuck am I talking about? What's that guy? Who- High cock. The man- the man with the high cock. He- he does the things. And he says carbine. Shuttle loot. I'll take skullcap. Honor. Goodwill. You know what? I will accept this. Plasteel is nice. Ah. 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 Excuse me. Limmy has tattered apparel again. It's that damn helmet. Alright, drop your helmet then, buddy. I was forcing you to wear the damn helmet. That said, you need a new helmet. Okay, shotgun almost done. Man, I can't believe Milt is the, really the only one that can make... ...components right now. It's a shame Loser can't do it. Okay, here comes the ray- oh boy. Stench, get in there. Tio Sare needs to live, I think. I think he's the one. They're fleeing. Yeah, no you don't. Rescue. Who- who died? The other one died. So... Yeah, that sucks, though. Moose Choban. Let's see, Moose- Moose is in the house! Poppycock! Undergrounder and Nimble. Is very artistic. Ken Melee, as opposed to Orange Caro, who's good at construction, but has creepy breathing. Okay. Pretty kind, but has creepy breathing. Sweats constantly. Uh... Capture both of them. One will... Like, I have a feeling there will be... Some perishing. This person's head not... Here? Head cut off fresh. Wow.
That's new. Medical emergency, Caro. Milt's got this. Milt's got this. Milt's got this. Exhaustion, Milt. That's, that's called being a good doctor, Milt. Uh, Caro has died. Shit. That was the one with the crafting, but had the creepy breathing. I need a research project, but I'm going to end it as soon as that dude enters the shuttle. Making good progress. Just want to look and see if we get, like... Hempoline... Produces power by burning Hempoline. No. No, I, I need... To, no, never mind. Do you think this person's gonna be able to actually even make it there? Holy fuck, it might not... That might not happen. The injury is so great that it may not happen. Four hours. Come on, you got four hours to get there, pal. Three hours to get there. Two. Holy shit. Jesus. Jesus fucking Christ. Duck egg wolfskin berries. We just got a bunch of stuff. Alright, um, the chain shotgun done now. I don't see it. It's not done yet. gonna do that, give it to Ayla before I forget, and then log off. So yeah, we got a, you know, dead body here, and uh, Choban, who will probably be a long time before Choban can join, but it's the potential of someone new, at least. Finish that shit up, Milt. You got this. Come on, only 20 work left. 20 work remaining, 10. Yeah. Alright, great. Stench is good. Eh, stench is alright. Just um, some mega spider injuries from a while back. Alright, that's RimWorld. Next time on RimWorld, I'm gonna start researching maybe some spaceship shit. And, uh, work towards, uh, getting more components. Milt is the only one who can do that right now. If I do some more crafting with Lose It, well, no. Yeah, we're, we're gonna need someone else that can do that. What's that, the fart cut hasn't been released yet? Well, that's a shame. I'm thinking the fart cut... It's a big one. 
you know, and it'll arrive with a splash. That doesn't even make any sense. And, uh... That, that's the wrong cut, yeah. Well, listen, it'll, it'll arrive when you least expect it. Silent but deadly. That was forced. Okay. I'm good. Thank you for watching RimWorld. More Rim soon. A lot of progress today, and we didn't lose anyone or any animals. And that was Randy. So not bad. Okay. Take care. Thank you for helping me, um, everybody here that is watching. Even if you just throw out name suggestions. And and thank you, everybody on YouTube, for stopping by and watching some rim, some inefficient RimWorld gameplay, as always. It's enjoyable. Take care, everybody. Stay safe and healthy. And I hope life doesn't get too randy random on you. See you next time.